Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Am I supposed to do all this? Hello. Oh. Hi. Sorry to interrupt you. Oh, what? No, that's all right. It's just some computer data I've got to put into a program. It's very complicated. Well, yeah, it does look difficult, but it's not a problem. <laughs> My name's Rodney. Oh, Cassandra. Ah, oh, Cassandra. It's a lovely name. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to I'm glad to say... we bumped into each other, cos I was trying to find a way of saying hello to you, and I think it's really, you know, sort of liberated of you to make the first move. Move? No, you don't understand. You've taken my coat. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. It's OK. They're very similar. It's an easy mistake to make. Yeah. This one's yours. Well, how do you know it's mine? It's got your name written in it. <laughs> Look, I didn't write this. It's, it's most probably my brother, you know, it's his idea of a joke. Well, whatever. We've sorted it out now. Yeah. Well, nice meeting you. Oh, yeah, and, and you. Sandra, I was wondering whether you had time for a quick drink. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going out with a friend tonight. Oh, well, never mind. Um, can I walk you to your car? Oh, thank you. Yeah, pleasure. Here we are. I'm full. Thank you for getting me here safely. I think nothing of it. It's a nice car my father's. Do you live round there? Blackheath. How about you? Uh, Peckham. Where are you parked? Oh, no, I lent my car to my brother. Well, I wish I hadn't now, after what he wrote in my coat, the little rascal. <laughs> oh, I'll get a bus down the terminus. I'm going past the terminus, if you'd like a lift. Oh, thank you. Ah. Rodney! <laughs> Rodney! I think someone's calling you. Really? <laughs> Over here. Hung about for you. Give your lift on. Oh, yeah, that's... someone I know. Well, thanks for the offer, anyway. OK. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Who's <laughs> the tart? <laughs> What's the matter with you? Think it out. What's the matter? Is he giving you lines or something? <laughs> why did you write my name inside that raincoat? Well, cos Mum said to me on her deathbed, she's... Why did you write it, you oh, dick? All right, all right. She said to me, make sure you always write Rodney's name in his clothes. That way, no one will nick him. <laughs> and I was just giving him a promise. I was so embarrassed. Yeah, but no one nicked your coat, did they? <laughs> Well, good night, Del. Lovely meeting you. And you too, sweetheart. But don't forget, I won't say a word. Thank you. Mm. I'll see you in a little while. Mm. Wait, Rodney, where do you think you're going? Cassandra's giving me a lift home. Ah, it's all right. Don't bother yourself, sweetheart. We've got the van here. Excuse me one moment while I go and kill him. What do you think you're playing at, Derek? I told you I got a bit of a deal going down here in a little while. Yeah, and I told you I don't want nothing to do with it. I know you did. But I got to meet that Arnie in the back of the car park there where it's nice and dark. Now, I've only just recently met the geezer, so I don't know what I'm walking into. So I would appreciate a bit of a backup, all right? Yeah, but I wanted to say goodnight to Cassandra. Go on, then. Say goodnight. Do you get back here a bit lively? No, I meant... I'm glad to yell. <laughs> oh, give me a couple of minutes.
What's happening? I'm going to have to drive Del I'm. He's drunk. Drunk? He doesn't look drunk. No, no. That's a bad sign with him. He hides it well, you see. But I tell you, you could push him over with just one little finger, he'd fall flat on his face. Oh, it's a problem of his I've had to live with since I was a little kid. How sad. Yeah, I know. It's tragic. Still, never mind, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Poor girl up for air. <laughs> Sorry. Do you fancy coming out for a meal on Thursday? I thought I told you I'm on a week's training course. Yeah, well, you must be able to get a few hours off. Oh, well, yes. And if you fancy flying over to Guernsey, I'd love to have dinner with you. Guernsey? You got to go all the way over to Guernsey? Yes. I did ask Guernsey if it would like to come to me, but it refused point blank. I've heard about these company training courses. They're just an excuse for loads of people to have an orgy. Really? Please be serious for one moment, Cassandra. Look, Rodney, if what you've heard is true and all these perfectly staid and boring people suddenly hurl themselves into a pit of carnal abandon, it doesn't mean I have to join in, does it? No, I suppose not. No suppose about it. No, I'm sorry, you're right. Of course I'm right. I mean, I'll take my whip, just in case. <laughs> I'll phone you. I'll phone you as well. Better make sure we don't phone at the same time, otherwise we'll both be engaged. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I love you. Do you? And I... He's here. <laughs> Don't have a nice time, will you? I'll try not to. Right, well, we're all eating. Well, the courier said, mate, at the desk. Oh, there it is. Huh? Ah. Right, pour the sangria Jose. We have arrived. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Just before you go and check in, um, this prize ain't quite as straightforward as it seems. Well, he did win, didn't he? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Well, it's all puckering above board and all that. I mean, we're here, you know, we got all the tickets and everything, yeah. So, what's the problem? That's strange, you know. Mm? What? Well, I noticed it on the plane, but it didn't sort of register. They're all mums and dads. They've all brought their kids with them. What's strange about that? Well, except for me, right? All the winners are parents. No, it's not the parents that are the winners, Rodney. It's the kids. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, Rodney's painting won first prize in an under 15 year old. <laughs> Say again. So they think Rodney's 15? <laughs> Is that right? No. They think you're 14. <laughs> 14? I think I'm 14. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me this back in England? Well, I thought it might cast a little cloud over the holiday. <laughs> Look, Rodney, I sent your painting off in good faith. I mean, I didn't know there were lots of categories, but it was you, not me. You were the one that wrote on it, Rodney Trotter, age 14 and a half. So the organisers must have put you in the kids' category. So it's your fault that you wrote on it. Uh, I was I to know that in 12 years' time you were going to enter it for a cornflakes competition? Well, how was I supposed to know that you'd win? Eh? Anyway, doesn't matter. Now, come on, come on. You're going to waltz through it. Waltz through? How the hell am I going to pass for false time? <laughs> <laughs> Will you stop doing that, Cassandra? <laughs> Act your age. <laughs> this is your fault. <laughs> Just look, just look over there, look. Look, some of those lads, look, they're over six foot tall. Fifteen and sixteen year olds, they look much older these days than they used to, and you've got the added advantage of your boyish good looks. That's why there was three tickets, isn't it? One each for mummy and daddy and one for the squad. <laughs> you can't expect thirteen and fourteen year olds to go abroad on their own, can you, eh? <laughs> 
And what exactly is your role in all this? <laughs> well, um, when the cornflakes people phoned up, they said that you had to be accompanied by your parents. So I said, and I, I don't know why I did it. <laughs> I must have been flustered at the time. I said that I was your dad. My dad? <laughs> did you hear that, Cassandra? Yeah. <laughs> And who the hell am I supposed to be, his mum? Oh, please tell me this is a bad dream. <laughs> you don't pretend, Cassandra. You're only pretending, aren't you? I mean, you haven't got to check behind his ears or pick him up from school or nothing like that, have you? I think we should go and tell them the truth. Just a minute, Dopey. Just a minute. We're here now, aren't we? If we all keep stum, we can have a lovely free holiday. But if they find out we're lying, they'll chuck us out of the hotel. And if they find out we're telling the truth, they'll chuck us out of the hotel. Now, return flight's not for another week, so what are we going to do? They'll probably stick us in one of those Spanish halfway homes. Well, at some point, they are going to realise I'm not 14. <laughs> but we'll be back in the hotel by then, won't they? there would be nobody there to ask questions. Come on, we're on holiday, eh? Well, whatever else it turns out to be, it's an experience. Good girl. <laughs> Good girl, that's right. You know it makes sense, don't you? <laughs> that's it. Now, come on. Come on, then. Come on. Let's get over there and check in. Come on. Yeah, don't forget you, you act a bit mumsy, all right? What do you mean, mumsy? I don't know, you know, just a bit mumsy. <laughs> all right? It's really nice here. I've just been down to reception. I bought us some Spanish state lottery tickets. I filled them in, I filled them in for you and everything. I bought some for you, look. There's some for Rodney there, look. And there's some for me. All right, I'll put yours down here. There you go. You never know. Never know our luck, cos we're on a winning roll, aren't we? <laughs> Tell that to poor Rodney. Oh, look, don't keep going on about it. You're going to spoil the holiday, you are. Listen, have you a look around. What's here? Ah, oh, yeah, that's very nice. That must be Rodney's room. It's got a picture of Prince on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> if that's Rodney's room, where am I supposed to sleep? Well, well I thought that uh, you and Rodney... <clears throat> no, maybe not, I mean, no. <laughs> I'll sleep in there. You and Rodney can have the honeymoon bed. All right, all right. Anything you say, sweetheart, anything you say, I just thought it might be a bit strange when the old maid come in, you know, see me and old Rodney tucked up on the king side. <laughs> it would look even stranger if she found Rodney sleeping with his stepmother. <laughs> I never thought of that. I'd better go and cancel breakfast in bed. <clears throat> Mister, do you want me to take that picture of Prince down off the wall there? Just Ge leave it, Derek. You've done enough for Rodney and I as it is. Oh, look. I thought the Cornflakes people would leave us alone to enjoy our holiday. I didn't know they were going to conscript Rodney into the groovy gang. I mean, why do they want to do that? Mr Perkins explained it to us. It's so the youngsters won't get bored and the parents can have a rest. I won't see him all week, will I? Yes, of course you will. <laughs> He's bound to get a spot of leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there he is. There they all go now. Hey, Rodney, don't go mad. <laughs> we just went down over that hill there. That was quick, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. They were on skateboards. <laughs> Rodney was the leader. He was right out in front. <laughs> leader of the pack. Oh, my God. Hmm? Hello? May I come in? Yes, come in. Oh. Hello, Mrs Trotter. Sure, sure. Oh, oh. Um, <laughs> good afternoon, Carmen. Is uh, Rodney here? No, he's not here at the moment. Oh. Oh, he's still out enjoying himself. <laughs> yes. Well, it's just to let him know about the junior disco on Wednesday night. But I'll come back later and see him then. Bye for now. That's it. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, it's all right. Rodney likes a little dance. <laughs> it's a junior disco. Well, all right. We'll say he's ill. Oh, what more lies? No, that'll be the truth. <laughs> when we tell him, he's bound to be at Tottenham Dick. <laughs> Listen, uh, I'm going to have a wash. Let me go downstairs and see if we can get something to eat. All right. What about Rodney? Oh, that's all right. We'll pick him up down there somewhere. Yeah, just look for the nearest sand pit. <laughs> Very funny, yeah. <laughs> what have you been doing? <laughs> I've been skateboarding, Cassandra. Oh, I see. Hi, Stel. He's having a wash. <laughs> Derek. Hey, brothers. Yes, I'm back. 
could you come out, please? I'd like a word with you. <laughs> no, could you come out now? Oh, I've got my pants off, Rodney. <laughs> well, it's quite urgent, Dale. Yeah, right. Give us five minutes, I'll be with you. Sorry about the bad language, Cassandra. What bad language? Get it in there, you dipstick! I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> oi, 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 oi! What's up with you? I'll tell you what's up with me. Thanks to you, I am now a 26-year-old man who just comes second in a skateboard derby. <laughs> second? You were in the lead when I saw you. <laughs> Dale! Are you in the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah. Well, was... thanks for walking out and leaving me like that. Sorry, I, I had too, too much to drink. I felt bad. I'm still feeling a bit rough, Rodney. Oh, oh and, and thanks for not giving me that money. Then you'll explain that you had something more important to spend it on and you promised me. I told Cassandra and her mum and dad and everything. I said, I've got the money. What am I going to look like now, eh? I'll tell you what I'm going to look like now. I'm going to look like the right tithead. That's what I'm going to look like. <laughs> Your money's on the... on the table. Dale? Thanks. It's all right, Rob. It was a pleasure. <laughs> Dale? Yeah. I'm sorry, right? <laughs> Shut up, you tart. <laughs> You're still going to be my best man, aren't you? Yeah, of course I am. Yeah. We'll, we'll have a good old knees up, eh? I think I've had enough of that for one night, Robbie. <laughs> And, and I'll tell you what, we'll have a good old sing-song. Yeah. As long as you don't mind me sounding like the Bee Gees. <laughs> I do solemnly declare... I do solemnly declare... That I know of no lawful impediment... That I know of no lawful impediment... Why I may not be joined in matrimony to this woman, Cassandra Louise Parry. Why I may not be joined in matrimony to this woman, Cassandra Louise Parry. Do you have the ring? I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Rodney Charlton Trotter. <laughs> <laughs> that I, Rodney Charlton Trotter. <laughs> I would appreciate it if the guests would conduct themselves in a manner more becoming to the occasion. Thank you. That I, Rodney Charlton Trotter. <laughs> Take this woman, Cassandra Louise Parry to be my lawful wedded wife. Take this woman, Cassandra Louise Perry, to be my lawful wedded wife. Now, repeat after me. I call upon these persons here present. I call upon these persons here present. To witness that I, Cassandra Louise Perry. To witness that I, Cassandra Louise Perry. Take this man, Rodney Ch Rodney Trotter. <laughs> Take this man, Rodney Trotter. To be my lawful wedded husband to be my lawful wedded husband. Now you have now both made the declarations required by law, and either you have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses. You are now husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Good, 